Hello, welcome to Creative Intuition Tarot. My name is MJ and I am delighted to have you here. Before we start, there is just one thing that I want to bring to your attention. And that is, my intention here is not to predict your future. If we could do that, it would mean that our future is predetermined. Please remember that your future depends on you, your choices and decisions, your desires and dreams. Tarot is not about predicting the future. To me, it's about designing and manifesting the life that we crave. The only moment we truly have in life is right here and now. Tarot reading may be set in time. It may refer to a month, a day, a year, or a season. But its intention is to inspire and guide us in the present moment so that we can create the future that we dream of. With that said, let us begin and enjoy your reading. Hi there, how are you doing? I'm super delighted to have you here. I'm very happy that you've decided to click on this video. Welcome to Creative Intuition Tarot. My name is MJ. Today I am inviting you to a pick a card reading um, on career business creative projects. This reading is set in April, uh, but really whenever it finds you, if it resonates with you, if the pictures that you can choose from resonate, then it is your reading at that time. Don't get too um, caught up on uh, the publication date, okay, or the timestamp uh, that I've put on this reading. Uh, as I said, you have three pictures to choose from, so feel free to pause the video at the beginning uh, and take uh, how uh, much time you need to choose the right picture that speaks to you. Uh, and for each picture, we will be using a different uh, tarot deck. First, I will give you intuitive messages based on the picture that you chose, and then we will do uh, the tarot reading for you. So with that said, Let's get straight into it. If you happen to enjoy today's reading, uh, I am warmly inviting you to subscribe. I love interacting with you. It gives me great pleasure to be doing those readings for you, and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. So uh, jumping straight to uh, picture number one, uh, if this is the picture that you chose, um, then this is the intuitive message first uh, that I have for you based on uh, the picture that you have chosen. So in that picture, you can see stones and what it tells me if, if you chose it is that uh, you may be trying to or desiring to create something very stable secure in your career business creative projects sphere okay something almost set in stone um, very certain long lasting or perhaps even something forever it's like creating your legacy building your legacy something that is hard to crush uh, now, this may be your desires, as I said, but th these may also be the features of your character, that you are a person that is stable, secure, uh, very certain, okay? Now, you may be looking to build something or you want to work in a place that is built based on structure, uh, built in a structured way, so the way those stones are placed one on another. Uh, you may be uh, looking for some kind of hierarchy or perhaps you are looking to up-level yourself within the hierarchy of, uh, of whatever kind. There's also um, balance indicated by, by those stones that you are looking for, for something balanced, perhaps balanced between your work life and your private life. Uh, so you name it, you know your situation um, best. Um, you know, those stones also made me think about building something stone by stone, brick by brick, diligently taking things day by day, okay? Um, those, uh, coming back to the stones, the, this picture is my picture, uh, and, and I have placed those stones there. There's a place in Crete, Greece, uh, where, where you can, uh, or people are placing stones that way with intentions, they are leaving their intentions there. So. You are setting intentions about something around your situation, uh, but also I think your actions, whatever you are doing, actions that you take are intentional, okay? Uh, the chamomile flower that you can see in the picture, it's, it's a group of flowers from the daisy family that can be found almost like all around the world. So perhaps what you, um, what you want is something global not necessarily, but it may be about expansion. Um, and also, I don't want to say that what you do or what you dream of is ordinary, but perhaps there are 
like no limitations as to where you can do this thing or plant those seeds just like you can find the chamomile almost all around the world i hope that makes sense um what else maybe maybe you are afraid that you are not original enough with the fact that chamomile can be uh, found all over the world um like it's hard to stand out from the crowd in your field or in what you do or perhaps there's a lot of competition so take it as it resonates for you not 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 everything that i'm saying about this picture may be uh, related to your situation right maybe just a part of it uh, refers to you and last but not least what i have for you the chamomile uh, is all about easing stress uh, it can soothe us help release tension create a state of relaxed alertness okay so and it can also help soothe the skin so perhaps for some of you what you work on may be related to healing uh, caring for others um, or something related to stress relief uh, chamomile tells you to maintain a calm and thoughtful mind okay to help you move forward and make the best choices and decisions um diplomacy is also indicated by chamomile so perhaps you should consider more diplomacy in your behavior or or in your attitude um again take it as it resonates for you so i hope those messages made sense uh, and i hope that they were inspiring let's go to your uh, tarot messages so if you chose picture number one um we will be looking into the shadowscapes tarot just one more shuffle and let's get to it what is your strongest foundation for success at this time let's see what is your strongest foundation for success you have the star that is beautiful um soothing and healing just like the chamomile that immediately came my way but also with the star your strongest foundation for success is faith and hope that you can make your dreams come true um, it's also about nourishing and watering your dreams your ideas with love so loving your creation that is a little uh, bit of the empress um, energy but but I, I i am getting this so i am bringing this to your attention definitely being faithful and not giving up upon your dreams wishing upon the star okay um this is also about connecting with your intuition uh, to look for guidance the star symbolizes the guiding light and i really strongly feel that that if you uh if you take the time to to sit in silence for some time and perhaps not look for external validation or um confirmation information ideas but look within that's where you will find the information the answers ideas and guidance that you're looking for star is is the guiding light that is leading you towards your destination so the star also symbolizes the dream of yours the destination goal the project and if you keep your focus on it you are going to get to that place okay this is the major arcana so it is coming very strongly to tell you that truly your strongest foundation for success is rooted within you in your faith and your hope if you really strongly desire something uh, whether you are working to change your career in the place that you are at whether you are looking for a new employer trying to get self-employed um uh, you know being a business owner expanding whatever that is if you want something desire something but deep inside you don't really believe that it's possible you're never going to get a positive outcome right so um it, it really that and i said that there's something about setting intentions with those stones so your um your actions that you take should be intentional and really focused on what is it that you truly desire allow yourself to believe that your dreams are possible to manifest perhaps you still require a little time nothing is happening overnight uh, but it is possible but you need to water it with faith and hope okay the star also makes me think of magic it's like magic is is all around you um and again with magic everything is possible but magic makes me think of the magician and magician is all about taking things in your hands and manifesting the reality that you desire you have all the tools the skills the talents that you need 
but perhaps you are not fully experienced yet in using it. Sometimes you need time to explore, um, educate yourself, expand your knowledge, uh, but also to experiment and don't be afraid of experimenting, trying new things, okay? Sometimes we, we have to take a couple attempts uh, before we will really find, for example, the way of doing something that really suits us. So don't be afraid of, of taking the time, experimenting, and sometimes starting uh, afresh a couple times. Um, there's, there's nothing bad in it, and it doesn't mean that you're, you're failing if you are um, restarting the process or your attempt. Okay? The magician is, is not about creating something out of nothing. So it's not about like hocus pocus kind of magic. It's about seizing your magic. And this magic is, is really bubbling all around you. It's like your destiny is bubbling with positive magic, provided that you believe in it. Okay? I said the magician is not hocus pocus, but it is about abracadabra because in Aramaic, language if i'm saying it right uh abracadabra means i i create as i speak okay so remember that that whatever it is that you desire whether it's a change in your career the business that i said or creative projects everything is in your hands to create the outcome that you desire but you need to take leadership be the self-starter okay seize your magic and create the outcome uh that you desire don't be afraid to be playful with it uh, what is the lesson to embrace from your current situation? Let's see. What is the lesson to embrace in your current situation? You have the Knight of Wands. Every knight represents movement, progression, expansion. But knights are also about bravery and courage. And especially with the Knight of Wands, that is the fiery knight. Right? Sometimes... It gives me that feeling of like a player or someone who likes to show off. Don't be afraid to show your skills. Don't hinder or suppress your talents just because you are afraid that others will think you try to show off. Uh, in just actually what I'm getting is do the other way around. Um, and I'm not saying this in like do it in an e egoistic or self-centered way, but just don't be afraid to present your skills, your talents, your qualities, your products, maybe your creative uh, projects that you are working on, artistic uh, crafts or something. Don't be afraid to show it to the world. Be brave and courageous in pursuing your dreams. Okay? So it makes sense with the star card and that magician vibe that they said about taking things in your hands. And that is the lesson that, that you... Uh, are guided to embrace from your current situation is to be brave and courageous in your pursuits and not to be afraid to show your skills, your qualities. Um, and don't be afraid of expansion. Don't be afraid to express that you want, that you desire expansion and growth. Last but not least, what you are guided to let go of. Maybe something that is a showstopper, something that is uh, keeping you stuck. You have the Empress. Okay, that is interesting. And I said the Empress was showing up w when I was um, speaking of the Star card. You know what? The Empress is such a beautiful energy. This is the energy of creating. Again, it makes such a perfect sense even with the Magician vibe that I explained. Uh, because the Empress is the mother energy. She gives birth to her creations. What you are guided to let go of it's not in a bad way, uh, but it's about you letting go of your creation, meaning allow it, allowing it to go to the world. Whether you are a craftsman, an artist, uh, maybe a writer or a speaker, or maybe it's about releasing your talents and skills. That just makes sense um, with the Knight of Wands energy. Uh, not let go of it because it's not serving you anymore. But even when you look at her, it's almost as if she she allowed this to fly away with those birds. Let go, meaning breathe life into it and allow it to be seen by the world. I love this because for some of you, it's about the creations. As I said, creative projects, maybe music. For some, really, you name it. It can be anything. And for a lot of you, it's about your skills, talents, whether it's in business, whether it's that, for example... Um, uh, skills of, of being a good speaker, for example, but let maybe it's about letting your words out. But 
let go of your creation don't hold on to it um so tight but but allow it to um allow it to be to, well just breathe life into it i was trying to find different words but that is really what i was trying to say so let go in order to allow it new life in order to allow it to thrive and grow and bring you fulfillment happiness and pride as well i hope that makes sense but i really really like this reading for you so uh let's pull you um the power animal okay let's see if there's any additional message for you from the power animal that may be useful for you at this time and you have the spider the spider will re will reveal your fate to you and let's read the message from the book i don't want to miss uh, any key part of it so let's read what the spider has to say okay there we go the message of the spider for you fate has woven its net and you will barely be able to escape from its threads okay so there's something destined be still and do not struggle this is just the way it is and you would be wise to face the situation with all your senses your talents and your joy learn from this situation recognize the regularities and find your own way within them the spider will show you how to easily stroll the sticky threads of fate, but it also warns you not to reject the rules. Uh, wailing and lamenting, as well as refusing and defying, will only get you tangled up further into the inevitable and will further confine the leeway of your own free will. Okay, I want to pull you... Um, some positive affirmations to close it off. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, uh, and I hope that you will become a part of my little channel. You have the, the butterfly spirit, and it says, Just living isn't enough, said butterfly. One must have sunshine, freedom, and a little flower. Hans Christian Andersen. Just living isn't enough. You want more. There's transformation with the butterfly as well. Let's take one more for you. Um, fresh air for the wind. Beyond the boundaries of time and space, there are limitless waters of creation. You know, with this um, cactus, is that how you say that in English? I'm sorry, it's not my first language, but immediately I thought of the needles. Like, don't don't guard yourself from your own dreams and from the success that is destined for you okay um, i hope that you enjoyed please take care of yourself and i will see you soon bye bye hi there welcome to your messages if you chose uh, picture number two this is the intuitive message that i have for you then we will move to your um, tarot messages so first of all you have a large bonfire and trust me it was large this is my picture i was sitting by this fire so i feel you want something fiery exciting something creative active okay you may be a person of those features someone who's active and creative and, and on fire so you are on fire um many desires can be burning within you creative ideas okay it may relate to magic as well or some spiritual practice or work uh, fire has the ability to cleanse and transform right so burning um there's a burning need of change in your career, maybe finances, creative life. Uh, fire is almost like an energetic reset button, okay? Burning away anything that no longer serves you um, and making space for the new, uh, preparing the fertile soil to plant the seeds. So there may be that, that burning need to change, refresh, plant something new, start something afresh, perhaps grow something. Uh, you may be keeping uh, your desires or ideas to yourself because the picture is taken at night. So uh, so we have the darkness. The, it may also indicate that this process is spiritually deep. Uh, there is spiritual growth in it or the experience is of an inner journey uh, kind. Okay. Um, and last but not least fire is a symbol of inspiration so something i feel and it may be just for some of you 
uh, you don't necessarily have to resonate with that whole intuitive message, but I feel something triggered or will trigger you. Something is triggering you, igniting you, inspiring you. Uh, but be aware, uncontrolled fire can be very devastating. So be conscious of your behavior. Mm, perhaps don't get carried away. Don't be impatient. Uh, don't get too aggressive in your pursuits. And also beware of the burnout. So cultivate your energy wisely on all levels, physical, creative, mental, spiritual, etc. Okay, so that is your intuitive message. And now we will do uh, the tarot reading for you. I have the news tarot for you if you chose picture number two, the colorful news tarot. And starting with your strongest foundation for success at this time. What is it? What is your strongest foundation for success? You have the three of coins. Um, so that is teamwork. Three of coins is, is about cooperation. Um, so for some of you, uh, it's, it's about um, accepting cooperation or reaching out, inviting someone to cooperate with you. Perhaps the ideas that you have. And you know what? I just looked at this. It's like a braid, but it made me think of a bonfire, actually. So perhaps the fire will be burning in a more creative and, and efficient, effective way if you invite others. Okay, perhaps that inner fire that is uh, currently burning within you, whether it's ideas or desires, it can also be enhanced or amplified with the support of others. Okay, um, three of coins sometimes make me think also of like a spiritual support, even though this is the coins energies about earth and things that manifest in our life. I feel that you are supported if you believe um, in, in, in those and. Well, if, if you didn't believe in any kind of like spiritual or cosmic guides, you probably wouldn't be here listening to tarot. Uh, but I feel that you have that spiritual support um, as well. Um, and, and that spiritual and intuitive realm is also where you can seek ideas, insight, um, well, and wisdom. Okay. Mm, for others... Um, it's also about, or it's not only about cooperation. Three of coins is also just a card of diligent work. This work is not focused on being recognized, but it's actually focused on enhancing your product, your project, what you're working on, your skill set as well. It's being focused and doing your diligent job and that um, appreciation or recognition from the outside will come whether you look for it or not, but it shouldn't be your primary focus, okay? I think there's still something for you to explore, enhance. It may be about, as I said, polishing your skill set. It may be about expanding your experience or education in the field that you're interested in before that recognition comes, okay? So perhaps if you are uh, looking to change your job and maybe you apply, but you don't get the job that you apply for. Perhaps there's something that you can do to enhance your skill set, to expand. Maybe there's something about education or courses, some kind of training. Okay, you name it. Um, maybe there's someone who can help you grow your skill set or talent. Maybe um, it's worth to find like a mentor or a teacher of some kind. Definitely. Your strongest foundation for success is being diligent and focused on what you're doing. Don't lose your focus and definitely don't give up, okay? Um, there's still path ahead of you to get to that top, but you're on the right path. That's what it tells me, okay? And the path is full of those roses, so there is beauty, appreciation, abundant harvest on your way, um, pleasant experiences as well. There's joy and fulfillment. You are on the right path. But you still need some time. Put diligent work uh, into whatever you're doing. And you know, even the background of this card is so fiery. So it really makes me think of that bonfire. That is, uh, that is beautiful. I, I like um, synchronicities like that. Let's see what is your lesson to embrace from your current situation. You have the page of emotions. So that is the page of cups. Um, allow yourself to be a beginner. That's what I'm getting. Maybe you were trying to be like, you know, the experienced person from the very first moment. Allow yourself to be a beginner, but an apprentice, 
a beginner also in the sense of being a student okay so allow yourself to explore um, from the place of very pure and innocent curiosity because that's that's the vibe of the page of emotions there's purity there's innocence allow yourself to see the world your creation your job your career your business whatever that is for you through the eyes of that young hearted spirit just like children their imagination is limitless their creativity is limitless so allow yourself to look at things perceive them just as you perhaps did look at the world when you were a child uh, what i'm also seeing in this card is this heart in in the center of her chest and it's like spreading those rays of light it's almost like a golden heart um look at your creation from the place of your heart as well so put your heart into whatever you're doing put your heart into whatever you are doing but, but put that innocent heart and allow yourself childlike joy in what you're doing even the cooperation if if that's your energy um that cooperation can be playful maybe it's about inviting friends from the past to join you in your endeavors but have fun with what you're doing you know when when we think about the bonfire uh we, we usually think about a camp uh, a camping we are sitting with friends or family maybe singing songs it's fun time right so allow yourself to be playful and put your heart into it what i'm also seeing is that there is like a, a forest deep inside there and i think i said at the beginning like follow your your intuition did i say that um if i didn't say then i'm saying it right now like deep inside of you um there is a, a whole new world where you can seek inspiration guidance creative ideas perhaps you are an artist because the page of cups can represent someone with that innocent belief like romantic almost so maybe you are uh, a poet or an artist of some kind but deep inside of you uh, is that land of of ideas and possibilities okay um and and when you search from within then you can shine your light to the world i hope that makes sense something to let go of what are you guided to let go of at this time we have the full major arcana um let go of the fear okay the fool is all about new beginning right taking the leap of faith you see she's on the verge and again we have those rays uh just like from the heart here um but this is um it's about taking the leap of faith and embarking on a new journey without fear of unknown yes there is unknown ahead of you but when you look at it from the perspective of an adventure um then um you're excited for it we're not afraid of adventures we want them right we we, ex we cannot wait for them to come especially when we know it's coming and we're uh, counting days so don't be afraid of taking the leap of faith the fool is about uh taking risk this is the risk taker so again don't be afraid of taking that risk too um obviously uh you may want to calculate that risk uh, but if your intuition and your desires your heart and soul is pulling you towards an adventure of some kind don't resist it because clearly that's where you are meant to be there's something new for you to start with the fool uh, so don't don't hold uh off from from taking that step and allowing yourself to start and also i said with the page allow yourself to be a beginner right so let go of that fear uh to begin to start something to pursue um, the dream or idea uh, that is burning within you let's pull you a power animal to see what additional messages we can get for you uh, from that oracle so you have the wolf the wolf is your teacher and I will read you the message from the guidebook because I don't want to miss any key parts. So, so let's see what the wolf has to say. Um, there is something you need to learn. 
reckons the wolf and offers you his company. See that I said, maybe there's something about finding a mentor or a teacher. Clearly there's something you need to learn with the page, with the full, allow yourself to be an apprentice, a student. Something in your life is trying to teach you a lesson. Do not worry, you will be well prepared. We are all constantly learning and everything we experience keeps a lesson on hand for us. Always be curious um, and mind the things that affect you personally. When the wolf emerges as your power animal, it is necessary to reflect on yourself and to review your behavior towards yourself and towards others. You must stay focused on the current issues that are to be solved. The wolf teaches you to change your life when it gets difficult by looking within. I said there's a new land within. Um, to then start developing and evolving. Become the person that you can truly love and you will be filled up with vitality. The Page of Cups is about that pure innocent love. It can also be like an offer of love. Become the person that you can truly love and you will be filled up with vitality. This golden heart, it's like a symbol of that vitality that is hidden within you, that you can shine, like shine your light to the world. I really love this for you. This is a beautiful message. So let's close it off with some positive affirmations for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, I am really warmly, wholeheartedly inviting you to subscribe, leave a like, a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, sacral chakra affirmation, look at this, even your butterfly is fiery. I love myself. I feel loved. I am creative. I enjoy life. I feel safe. I follow where inspiration leads. My body is sacred. I honor my power. Beautiful. Follow the light and lead others to light. Be the beacon, a torch bearer, lead the way. And the sticker says chasing adventure. Don't stop yourself from taking the leap of faith towards an adventure. Absolutely. You have the lamp um, to light up your path. One more for you. Feel the freedom of happiness within you all the time. Affirm your aliveness. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, please take care of yourself and I will be seeing you soon. Bye-bye. Hello there. Welcome to your messages if you chose picture number three. This is the intuitive message that I have for you. Then we will move to your tarot reading. So you chose the picture with the forest. Forest in the mist. There is something like a sense of mystery, unknown. Uh, not everything seems to be clear or visible, whether it's um, some kind of an external information or circumstances or perhaps your dreams or ideas, ideas or intentions. Something is not fully visible. There is something to discover. Uh, there's a sense of, of adventure awaiting. Uh, it is also very dreamy in nature. So you may be having dreams, gaining insight or ideas in your dreams, uh, or perhaps through deep meditation, and also through spending time in nature. That may be very, very beneficial for you. Perhaps, you know, go out and hug a tree if you can, um, or spend some time in the forest. You may be slightly confused at this time with that fog trying to figure out the way forward. Um, there's something uncanny in this picture as well. There's a sense of stillness and peace, deep awareness of the here and now. Uh, and that may be a hint for you, okay? To ground yourself, root yourself strongly in the here and now, just like a tree, and experience the present to the fullest, okay? There's still things for you to discover here where you are. Um, and last but not least, the moss on the ground. Um, I, I think it's moss and that's what it, it immediately made me think. So mosses and other small beings invite us to dwell for a time right at the limits of an ordinary perception. I hope that makes sense. So look in an attentive way and a whole new world can be revealed to you, right? Uh, we, we miss a, a whole lot of details on a daily basis because we're just not mindful of what surrounds us. So that's the message here. Uh, there's a world of opportunities, ideas, paths to choose from if you look in that attentive way. Um, and also it's very interesting. And I just, I, I checked that information um, before the reading when I was reading about moss 
is that mosses were among the first plants to emerge from uh, the ocean and conquer the land. So perhaps like a moss, you can or you desire to emerge from your current environment and conquer lands that are seemingly unavailable. Okay. So that's your intuitive message. And now we will do the tarot reading for you. I have the field tarot for you. It's also very dreamy. So uh, it, it just, uh, it fits the third picture. So what is your strongest foundation for success at this time? Let's see what is your strongest foundation for success. You have seven of wands, valor. There's something about standing strong, standing in your power to fight for something that you desire, uh, whether it's a career, a business, a creative project, um, a position of some kind, uh, but also to protect what you have already created or built for yourself. Standing tall in your convictions as well. You know, what is very interesting is that the card that precedes, so the six of wands is the card of success. And then the seven of wands is about that, that fight or protecting, standing up for yourself. And, you know, it, it makes me think that there was already some kind of success that you achieved and no surprise, others may want a piece of your pie now. So that's, that's why there's this sense of, of protecting because she's holding one. Uh, wand and six wands are turned um, towards her, right? But there's valor, there's power, there's courage and bravery. And that is your strongest foundation for success is to not be afraid, perhaps of competition. Maybe there's some kind of competition in the field that you are uh, trying to get to. Maybe it's like, you know, some business areas or creative areas are, for lack of a better word, taken and it's very hard to get in. Okay, so if that's something that resonates for you, this card is telling you to keep your valor and not give up uh, on the dream, on the direction that you have chosen for yourself. She's standing facing those six ones. So as well, like allow yourself to face the success that you're desiring. Okay, don't be afraid, but, but in fact, reach for it um, with courage. That's what I'm getting for you. As your strongest foundation for success you see even though it this card may carry the vibe of um, protection or fighting for something there's very still water behind her and water represents our emotions so be brave in your pursuits but at the same time remain calm um, in, in your emotional space but th this is also water can represent your creative waters it can represent uh, your soul desires Okay, but there's like no stress and, and being st stressless, I wanted to say, but like allowing yourself calm and attentive mind will also help you to uh, maintain calm emotions. And when your mind and emotions are calm, you are able to make um, clear and, and right choices that are not made based on temporary emotions, especially those uh, hectic emotions. And also um, those decisions are not made from the place of, of temporary or stressed or anxious thoughts. Okay, So stand in your power, definitely. And, and don't be afraid to fight for your dreams. That is your, uh, that is your foundation for success. Mm. Don't be afraid to express your desire for, for those things as well. And just be brave in your pursuits. What is your lesson to embrace from your current situation? Let's see. What is the lesson to embrace for you in your current situation? Stability. Four of Discs. So again, it immediately made me think of that stability in your mind and, and emotional space, being internally stable um, and not allowing any temporary emotions or thoughts to take over. Okay. Um, but four of coins is also the energy of budgeting, assessing your resources. So there's something about embracing um, or realizing that's the lesson realize the resources that you have and resources can be of whatever kind it can be about money if perhaps you are a business person maybe it's about investment but your time energy your skills talents creative ideas uh, your physical power perhaps as well 
maybe crafts like skills in your hands these are your resources so first of all recognize them recognize the resources that you have and budget them what you can do be realistic about what you can do with the resources that you can have at this time one more lesson from the four of coins card is this is sometimes a card of being overly attached whether to something or someone it can be a card of greediness okay um so don't be or maybe in other words don't hold on to your resources so tight if you want um the resources to bring you um more result whether it's financial again or of any other kind you need to put your resources to action you need to invest them so that you can have an investment return okay so perhaps it's about you, you see how they are um, entangled together for lack of a better word maybe it's about allowing them to work separately okay maybe you can um like how do you call that a di like the, to to make your investments diverse uh, maybe you can you can invest uh in into a few things rather than one maybe it's about investing your talent into something that you do whether it's your job or creative project but also at the same time you may invest some of your resources like time and energy or maybe money into um, education into expanding your skill set into learning uh, training of some kind okay so you name it it may be also about for example if you're a business person maybe about investing your resources in inviting someone to cooperate with you maybe it's about um, investing in in people so you know your situation best definitely stability um as i said you have solid grounds and that is also your lesson is that you need to recognize the resources that you have and that you already have a solid ground to build on that's why i keep seeing those six ones you already have created a level of success for yourself and you can build uh, up on it okay uh, something to let go of what you are guided to let go of at this time something that may be hindering you keeping you stuck uh, you have the prince of discs so that is the page of coins uh, in this deck it speaks of reliability but you know what i think it's about uh, you letting your guard down you see this this page even though it's it's the energy no you know what i'm sorry that's not the page that is the knight of coins in this deck but regardless what i wanted to say is about his armor um the the, the knight of coins typically is presented in tarot uh, without any weapon because he's not moving to fight he's diligently moving forward to deliver the coin or information a message or to get to a specific destination so he's not there to fight anyone right in this particular deck this guy has like an armor that always makes me think of like it's carved in stone that it's very heavy okay so wh what i am getting for you is don't guard yourself that much like don't don't suppress yourself um i'm trying to find the right words i hope you can bear with me it's like when you outgrow old forms forms that are fossil that are holding you back it's about emerging from that stony armor and allowing the authentic you um to to come to the surface and thrive and don't guard yourself and don't keep yourself stuck in those old forms whether it's about forms meaning behavior maybe directions to take ideas allow yourself to be innovative as well try new things put yourself out there into public but don't guard yourself and don't maybe let go of that attitude that whatever you are trying to do has to be achieved through fight and that makes me think of of that seven of wands right where i said it's about protecting something or fighting for someone uh yes i said be courageous and knights represent courage bravery absolutely progress uh and movement and expansion uh but i i, I think this armor that you have put on yourself maybe some kind of self-imposed restrictions maybe lack of self-belief this is something that is holding you back and is making you very very 
um, heavy so that you are not able to move. I hope that makes sense. Perhaps also because this is um, the energy of coins, just like the four of coins here in the center. Maybe you need to let go of those resources. I said, put them out there, invest them. So don't hold on to them so tight, uh, but allow them to work for you. Um, the Knight of Coins is the most reliable knight, the slowest moving, but at the same time, the most reliable, very diligent. Okay, but I feel with that almost like stone made armor, you are moving extremely slow if, uh, if you're not stuck uh, in, in one place. Okay, maybe let go of that shield. Maybe you are guarding yourself from your own success or guarding yourself from your own dreams to come true for whatever reason. And that reason from a lot of you may be lack of self-belief. I'm not going to get there. I said, perhaps you're trying to get to a field that is taken for lack of a better word. Um, and, and you're like prepared to fight instead of looking at things from the perspective of maybe having fun, uh, a process of growth. Uh, doesn't have to be a fight or doesn't have to be painful. You can have growth through adventure and fun. Okay. I really hope that makes sense. And I think I'll leave it there. Um, if this resonates with you, uh, then you know what that means for you. And don't be afraid. Don't ever be afraid to make your own interpretations of the cards. If you resonate with this card, you, you know what it means to you. And also I just uh, looked at his face that you know the the place that the holes for his eyes are very narrow when you take that off uh, your vision will expand your horizons will widen if you allow yourself to take that thing off your head okay it really may be something about like fossil beliefs or old forms that that are no longer serving you Let's pull you the power animal to see what additional messages we can get for you. The beaver will gift you with the power to work. Okay. And I will read the message for you from the guidebook because I don't want to miss any key parts. So bear with me. I'm just going to find the beaver. There it is. Okay, here we go. When the beaver appears in your deck, he invites you to tackle something. Work is to be done, which is real practical work in this case. It is necessary now to act, to be busy, to do stuff. Use your physical and emotional powers now to give uh, the elaborate and appropriate shape to your desires and ideas. Knight of coins, diligent, focused, attentive. Uh, the beaver encourages you to build your life. The beaver builds his uh, dugout into the stream of life by damming and thereby calming it. Calm water, right? Maybe those ones here are like those the, the woods that a uh, beaver is using um, to build his, his dugout. Does that make sense? Stop dreaming, stop hoping and proceed to action. Every bit of every kind of work will lead you forward, especially when it is filled with your positive emotions. Shape and mold your life in a way to have it bring joy and pleasure to you. It is essential to act now, even if you might only be able to make small steps at first. Beautiful. Um, let's close it off with some positive affirmations for you. And in the meantime, if you enjoyed the reading, a warm invite for you to subscribe, leave a like, comment, let me know what you think. Um, and your card says, be committed to your self-development. Feather your education, explore, meditate, practice open-minded thinking, read. I like this card because you can see this happy little plant reading a book. And I said, maybe there's something about you developing, investing in your development education. Okay, so... Uh, perhaps you can expand your knowledge through reading. Uh, I feel that the more this plant reads, the bigger the plant really grows. So there's there's something uh, there's something in 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 that for you as well. That the more you read, the more 
like creative but also fresh and juicy you will become i really hope that makes sense life is good walk your path diligently and with patience do your part learn and enhance your way see i cannot make this up there's something for you to learn to keep enhancing being diligent and patient like the knight of coins uh enhance your way there's something that you can still do better there to begin align expectations to reality and i'll leave it there i hope you enjoyed please take care of yourself and i hope that i will see you soon bye bye